Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, The Broglie Channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 30, aka Shifted Beyond Reality. This level has three parts to it, and each of them gets more crazy than the last, and there's also floating mind control squids. So stick around, if that sounds cool. Also, go check out my second channel, Tugly. Help me get to 50k over there, I'm uploading some cool stuff, like some horror gameplay videos, it's gonna be cool. I think you'll like it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Backrooms Level 30, like I just said, is split into three different revisions, and they're all pretty short, so I'm just gonna go over all of them. The original Level 30 is classified as a Class 2 difficulty, and is unsafe and unsecure with a low entity count. Boy, if they only knew what this was. It's known for its ability to change people's memories, and change how they perceive things, but it actually looks like a sky with random floating islands in it. The islands are around 2,000 miles in size, and are pretty far away from each other, but you'll figure out later that the sky is not what the level actually is. Those memory altering abilities that I mentioned earlier are pretty much just here to make people think that the level is a dream, so the entire time they're here, they don't think it's real. Although this only happens when you interact with an entity here called the Memory Lurker or the mind control squid. These things look like miniature squids from real life, and they just float around the sky to suck on your brains. What can I say? If you go up to one, it'll reach out with a tentacle and grab your head and do some kind of mind control stuff on you to make you see things that it wants you to see. After it's latched onto you, you're pretty much done for. There aren't any bases on the islands, at least not currently. There could have used to been one, we don't know. There's also a note on there that says this. Hello. Can anybody hear us? Look, I think this is supposed to send in some type of note about us encountering an entity or something, but listen closely. Something is wrong here. The description is short for a reason. They don't know what is going on. Therefore, they can't explain it too much. But we know something. We'll try to remake this draft, okay? Well, I'm out. So yeah, that's pretty disconcerting. Sounds like someone's in a rush, but you'll see what's happening in the next couple entries. So the next entry is the Revision 1, and it's classified as a Class 5 instead of the previous classification. But the first sentence says to ignore the Class 5, so I don't know. This one is written by a Wanderer, and it describes what the level is actually like. They say that there's two entities here, and not just one, because the squids are not the only ones. The level itself is also an entity. While writing this updated revision, the person was on a really dark island that was connected to other islands by rope bridges, and the writer goes on to say that some of the bridges lead to the blue channel, and some of them lead to random voids and cutoffs like in the picture. The writer also says that the memory squids weren't here originally, and that the level itself made them here, like it put them here somehow. The level also speaks words, like it talks to you, and the person says that the words come from everywhere, around every corner, behind your back, and yeah. Then the next paragraphs talk about how this person's friends got taken over by the memory squids, and they started acting weird and robotic, and they don't show an emotion anymore. It's pretty much just a total takeover of mind control. And finally, the creepiness sets in when the writer says this. It's an entire paragraph that's crossed out, but it's literally crazy. And it says, Now that I think about it, it is weird how everything feels so fake. Is that what you'd call it? It's so distorted, and everything feels off. I wonder if there's even an exit. Highly doubt it though. To be honest, I feel almost as if everything's 2D. I know it sounds confusing, but it's just so plastic. Like anybody can make this fake thing up, like a puppet show. Something is controlling it. But then it was marked out, so it's creepy, right? To me, it sounds like the level is somehow creating an alternate real life thing, kind of like a video game, but the writer says that it might be like a VR headset, and the headset itself is the squids, so when they put their tentacles on you, it's kind of like VR headsets, right? Now it's time for the official level explanation, which is called Revision 2, and this time the level is classified as a Class LF. I think is how you say it, but Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is pretty neat. 
and it's unsafe, has time dilation, and has undocumented entities. This level has two official forms. One is the fake form that I talked about earlier, which is the sky with the islands. It's completely fake, so yeah. And the other form is the real true form, which no one has seen. And even if you could see it, your mind could not comprehend it, and you were just unalive right there. The entire goal of this fake first part is to make you think that the level is normal, so you let your guard down. And then when you let your guard down, the memory lurkers will just latch onto your brain and pretty much unalive you instantly and make your own consciousness into the level to see whatever they want you to see. As I just said, the real form of level 30 isn't even known, and it's kind of like the holy grail thing where if you touch it, you might as well just unalive. It's crazy, I know. To enter this terribly scary level, you can no-clip anywhere on level 843, and to exit, it's unknown how to. Literally, you're just stuck. So yeah, that was the craziness of level 30. I do hope you enjoyed it. This one was insane, and I really like how it's like virtual reality, but the level itself is a real thing. Like, it's a sentient being. I don't know, it's pretty unique, I think. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for everything. Check out the description for any links you might want or need, like in Twitter or Discord or Second Channel, even, maybe? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you're ready for it, and I hope you're ready for a non-Backrooms video coming soon. It's gonna be cool. Peace.